Right, my take on a barbecue shrimp. Now, I know there's so many different variations, but whilst here, I thought I'd do a beautiful, quick and easy barbecue sauteed shrimp with the most amazing pickled asparagus. These have been peeled and deveined, really important. Deveining is just getting out of that little sack from the back there like that, peeling them. I like leaving the ends on there, especially when you want to pick them up and eat them. And more importantly, the heads on. That's always a great sign of an amazing shrimp with the heads on. And the flavor inside those heads are second to none. Now, up here, um, it's the start of the pickling of my asparagus. I love pickling because it's a really nice way of eating um, something highly acidic with something so sweet and delicious. So, a um, cup of vinegar brought up to the boil, a cup of sugar brought up to the boil, dissolve the sugar, really important, a pinch of salt in there, and then I've got some really nice fresh dill. Okay, just bring them up, and then from there, a little bit of uh, lemon, okay? Again, really nice way of making it last. And the good thing about pickling vegetables is it can eat any time. How do I cook the asparagus? You know, sometimes they don't even need cooking. But what I like to do is get a nice hot non-stick pan, salt that pan, really important. I want to toast the asparagus, okay? So I just want to sort of get the asparagus in there and scorch them, just like that. Again, scorch them. And that just sort of brings out the flavor. Lightly saute. I'm not cooking them all the way through. The pickling syrup has just come up to the boil. Turn that off and let that cool down. With the asparagus, and give them a nice little seasoning. A touch of Old Bay, just a touch. It's almost like a sort of hot, spicy pickle. But look at the asparagus now, look what's happening to them. It's sort of going that really nice, dark, nutty color and the flavor on them is beautiful. Now, once they start to really toast like that, especially with the spice on there, take a little jar, take them out and literally just pop them in to the jar. Okay. And like I said, they last forever. They don't go off for pickling them. And I always find by toasting them first, it gives a really nice crunch to the asparagus. Look at that, that flavor on there, especially with the seasoning, it's so beautiful. And it's a really nice accompaniment to serve. There you go. Move for one more down there. In, jam them in beautifully. Take your liquid, and then just literally pour that over, nice and carefully, up to the top. Nice. Okay. Okay. Let them cool down completely. Set them in the fridge and it's got this really nice, delicious pick-me-up snack, but it's great accompaniment, especially for the barbecue shrimp. Now, when it comes to the shrimp, these things cook so quickly, so get ready. So, what I mean by getting ready is get your shallots, get your garlic, and just literally slice them. Not too thin, by the way. Too thin, they'll burn quickly, so just uh, down. Again, garlic. Not too thin. In. From there, just break that up a little bit. Okay. And snap them all, but just open up a little bit. You'll see why. It's so beautiful. Pan. Nice and hot. Again, this is a very, very quick action. So, shrimp, nicely seasoned. Season with some salt, a little bit of Old Bay, and quite generous on the seasoning. Don't forget, I'm gonna roll it around. Season the heads as well. Like I said, the flavor in those heads is incredible. From there, touch of olive oil. We get some color on the shrimp first. I'll lay them down. Beautiful, into the pan. Start at the top of the pan and work your way down. Okay. Now, these things literally take 60 seconds each side. Again, seasoning on the other side, lightly. And then from there, I want to get that old bay in there as well. See the shrimp tightening up? A touch of olive oil. Before I turn them, I'm going to start sprinkling 
my shallots and my garlic all the way around the outside. Okay? The shallots and garlic are a really important part of this dish. Don't turn the shrimp yet. I'm only going to turn them once. It's really important. Sometimes you overwork ingredients in the pan like that, so A, you don't want them breaking up. But now look what's happening. The shrimp are starting to colour beautifully. And around the outside goes my butter. Just tiny little speckles of butter in there. And look. I'm going to get nice and toasty. Time to take them off and take those little buds off and literally pull them down and season with the thyme. And I've got some nice, fresh little pushes of dill there as well. Now it's time to turn the shrimp. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at the colour of these shrimp. Amazing. Amazing. You can see what I'm all about now. Literally 60 seconds each side. Shallots cooking nicely. And then a touch more butter. And then we glaze the pan with a little touch of vodka. Now, that's going to give a really nice flambe and an amazing sort of caramelized flavor. Beautiful. Now, for the flambe. Stand back, thumb at the end. Switch the pan. Boom. And off. Bang goes your eyebrows. Now, literally before they come out of the pan, take your lemon and off and squeeze that all over. So beautiful. Simple execution when it comes to serving. In. You can see now why we sliced everything so nice and thinly. Now, look. Now, what do we use to mop up that incredible flavor underneath all those shrimp? A um, little bit of a French baguette. And what I want to do is just literally turn these in half. Lightly toast that pan with a touch of oil. Again, gently season it. Spice world. In a way that the old bay, the Creole, the Cajun, you know, there's lots of debates. There's Creole in the center, there's Cajun in the province. You know, it's everywhere. So get that oil nice and hot. And then, literally, get your bread in and just toast that nicely. Beautiful. Both sides, nice and generous. Now, this goes a long way. When you get to the bottom of that bowl, the flavor from the shallots and the garlic and the butter and the vodka and the touch of olive oil is so tasty. So you want something really nice to mop it up with. Beautiful French bread. Oh my God, so good. Toasty. So, bread, beautifully done. And then, how do, you, how do you find that balance? You know, take your asparagus out and just slice them in half. There's still that really nice crunch, but it's a sort of spicy crunch. And it really is an amazing accompaniment to go with your beautiful shrimp. Honestly, so easy. Let the ingredients do the talking, and there we have the most amazing barbecued shrimp, Norman style, with some beautiful French bread and delicious, vibrant, pickled asparagus. Enjoy. Let me know in the comments what you think of that amazing dish. And if you missed Uncharted, trust me, you can watch it on the link below or on the Nat Geo app.